do not enter. That's what criminology students at Sony University told the suspect when they approached the crime scene. Students were given the opportunity this month to attend a mock-up crime scene with dummies and actors as part of a module on their course. In the sports building car park, they were given the chance to expand their skills to use if they were to attend a real crime scene once they graduate. Dr Simon Fox, the Head of Law and Criminology, explains why this activity benefits his students. What happens is when the students are listening to what we're saying in lectures, um, that's great and they will then do their background reading and their directed learning. But then this moves that one stage further and gets them actually to apply what they understand and what they know. They will then make mistakes, which is great because then they will reflect upon that and they will know what they can do better next time. So the whole learning experience, in my view, is more authentic. Every course should have more authentic scenario-based learning because the students love it and they don't actually sometimes appreciate that while they're doing this kind of activity, they're also learning, they're reflecting upon what they've learned and then they actually understand far better. During the activity, each student can take on a different role to focus their learning on a specific job title. One of these involves making sure the public stays out of the crime scene to avoid tampering with evidence. Through role play, students practice this by making sure a member of the public does not get involved before later finding out he was in fact the suspect. Student Mariana shares her thoughts. This pretty much in here is like a preparation, so uh, we know what to do, we know what a first officer actually does when he reaches a crime scene, and yeah, it's really useful actually. As the students collect all their findings, they are now prepared to take the evidence to court. And due to the success of the task, it's clear the lecturers are keen to take these activities further in the future. This is Hannah Watkins for Solent Journalism.